Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Counterattack, a side-scrolling sc shooter where you are fighting off an army of AI who pretty much just wants to destroy humanity. I believe it started out at a mining outpost. The AI got a little bit out of control and uh, it very much snowballed from there. Uh, but as you can see, I got a single player, local multiplayer, and online multiplayer. I haven't been able to find anyone to play online with. The thing is though, I've been playing like in the middle of the day, so whatever, and I have no one to play locally with. Uh, so we're just gonna kinda go into the single player. Here we go. Uh, so there are different ships that you actually get. Uh, if you look at the upper right, you can see their stats, speed, spread, side beam, missile, power, plasma, and drone. Uh, you can actually upgrade those as you play. So uh, I've really just been picking this character here mostly because of their fighter squadron. Uh, so it summons in these extra fighters that shoot alongside you. But uh, yeah, uh, they all seem have seemed viable so far. Uh, or you can just pick a random one, but we're going to go to the uh, sort of main uh, part of this game, which are these attachments. If you look at the upper middle there, I have 31 of 568 different attachments. Uh, there are different modules and weapons that can change from uh, stuff to, uh, ranging from your speed to your firepower to uh, what your weapons even do. So uh, let's see. Uh, so let's just see. Uh, let's see, let's see. So the one I have right now is instead of having a beam that charges up, uh, it fires con con uh, continually, which is really fun. And let's see what other uh, stuff have I recently unlocked here. Uh, charging kill streaks, action reload. But yeah, uh, lots of stuff. I also have it set to uh, hide obsolete. So anything that's uh, worse than this quantum thruster will get uh, eliminated. So for every point I have in speed, I get plus five speed, plus five evasion, and, uh, uh, and well, I have plus five evasion, plus five e speed, and for every point of speed, I get 1.5 evasion, extra evasion, which is nice, because that means a bullet can go through me. All right, let's go on here. So the way this works is kind of rogue lighty. Uh, you have your campaign. I've gotten to the very end of the uh, sort of easy one down here. You see there's medium and then hard at the top. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go through uh, the quick encounter here. And uh, as you can see, all the way at the uh, right there, they all converge in one place. But uh, let's go. If I'm explaining this quickly, it is actually very well explained in a tutorial in the game. All right, we're going to quickly destroy this here. If you look at the upper middle there, I already have a nice chunk of speed. So you see these uh, golden stars. That's for my super or my power move I was talking about earlier with the jets. Uh, and then the green are the what you use for your uh, uh, upgrades, which you see in the uh, middle there. So if I get two of them, I can now shoot uh, upgrade the thing to get a spread shot or a side shots. So we're gonna, hopefully we're gonna go and call my buddies here and mutilate everything. So if I get one power up and use it, I only get it in speed, but if I get two, it then can be used in spread and then so on and so forth. So we're gonna go and get beam there. So one speed. So you have to actually like collect them if you want to upgrade the higher tier stuff and it doesn't upgrade the lower stuff before or below it. I actually want to get into the uh, plasma in uh, power because it's really useful. Uh, and easy at least, you get tons of uh, the power stuff. I never really upgrade a side. But yeah, again, it's very all very well uh, tutorialized for you. So normally this beam would charge up and then fire when you release the button. But yeah, it'll it'll escalate. Uh, if you die, you do keep your power-ups, except for your drones. Which uh, actually can take bullets for you. Uh, and there will be a lot of enemies on screen. Got some guys coming in behind me. Missiles are also very useful. But the one I have right now actually gives like a little uh, fan of missiles. I missed it, dang it. Give it all of you. But yeah, we may only get th like through one level or so, but yeah, this is, with the way the game is kind of uh, set up, you're gonna be seeing these first levels uh, pretty often. Cause when you die, you just kind of restart over. We're gonna quickly annihilate this boss here. Uh, that is actually my biggest issue with this game. The bosses start to get like super bullet spongy. And some of the levels do drag on for a while. Perfect. Yep. 
Yep, yep. The AI is evil. We must fight back. We must survive. All right, so where do I want to? We're going to go to the home front. Not sure what those yellow things are in the middle. I didn't unlock anything new. There's actually a module that uh, allows you to upgrade, uh, unlock modules faster, which is nice. The automatons are what they're called. The first two or three levels are easy. Very much tutorial level sort of thing. There we go. Grab that. Grab that. There you go. And we're going to get one more. And now we can get a drone. You can see him right there just kind of chilling out around me. So, like, look at all these. I, I, oops. I tapped the ground there. I think my evasion may have saved me. Upgrade that beam a bit. But yeah, just think about this, but escalating exponentially after a while. Got those missiles. And there is one tutorial level that teaches all about the upgrades and systems and stuff like that, which is the bottom route. Smartly enough, once you finish that, uh, it, they do uh, restart you because you get the, you if you kept all those upgrades, you just be massively overpowered. Let's get some missiles. So see the red missiles there? Normally they'd be homing missiles, but I have them kind of spread out so I can do more like uh, like area damage. But like like I'm I'm at level two, and like look how like crazy I'm already getting with the uh, upgrades and stuff like that. And now I got the side shots, which will help me out. So now I'm just a death machine. Get some more missiles. Uh, so you see how I have three uh, available slots for missiles? If I get all the way over there to add on, that actually will add a new slot. So I can I can go beyond my limits essentially. Which is really nice. It is a very like noisy game though. Because you're just continually holding the uh, A button or the right trigger. You essentially play this game with uh, right trigger, the left stick, uh, the B button, and the Y button. Get some points there. All right. Uh... And if you look at the very, very, very end there, you can actually just purchase an extra life if you want to, once everything else is upgraded. And there are modules to automatically upgrade stuff. The thing is, though, you don't get to pick. It'll just be like, once once speed is full, you're going into spread. Once spread is full, you're going into side sort of thing. I want that. But yeah, all these little dudes uh, slowly give way to bigger ships. Uh, there's actually some levels where you can actually be inside of another ship, which is really neat. Murder everything. Is it really murder if they're dead? Or if they're robots? Or they're just a, a hive mind sort of thing? But yeah, some of these levels, like I said before, kind of drag. And they do feel like they are getting slightly longer as I play. And then, like I said before, the uh, bosses get really bullet spongy. Hopefully we'll get to the bot. My finger's getting tired. We'll stop shooting for a second. All right, we stop. Enemies are back. Oh, there's the boss. What do we got? Oh yeah, this one. So this one I believe is usually connected in the middle with a, uh, a ball, but I think we just obliterate it before it even spawned. And we're done. There you go, the EDF, yeah. 
I think you get the general idea. You're just kind of going through these levels. Uh, let's see. All right, here, I'm gonna show you this one real quick because this is what I was talking about. Yeah, look, you get it. Yeah, see? Yeah. And then you can just kind of get out of it. Oh, you can actually uh, refund stuff. I did not know that. Ah, oh, yeah, so, okay. You can just drop it. I didn't know that. You just, okay, so if you push one of the um, bumpers, you actually go back and you can uh, get, uh, like, so if I don't want drone, I want plasma, like, there you go. But yeah, there you go. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fan Channel. Bye. Thank you.